Hey guys, welcome back to another episode. Thank you guys so much for clicking the video. I really hope this episode is going to be epic. I'm so excited to be in Saint Denis, and um, I don't even know if I'm saying that right. It's this game's just amped up so much since we got here, and I'm so happy to be playing this. I hope you guys really enjoy it. Um, I feel like I'm going to really enjoy it. I really hope that comes across. Um, as genuine as possible like I really don't want to be fake on this channel um, it's not something I like in other youtubers and I hope you guys pull me up for it anyways I just want to say like I'm just going over to a gun shop here while I'm going over I just want to say thank you guys so much if you've been watching this series it's um it's been really amazing like I can't believe this channel is where it is and it really humbles me to look at that so thank you guys so much I wouldn't be here um, if it wasn't for you guys watching I'd probably be pretty bored doing this and um, stopped <laughs> alright oh sh holy shit that guy just robbed us oh crap man shit that guy bumped into us um, I think you have me mistaken, sir. Look what we got here. Oh, shit. Give me the money. All right. I'm going to hog time. Oh, I hate this place. I'll take that. Come on, this ain't fair. All right, I'll cut him. Actually, no, I'm not going to cut him free. He can stay there. He um, took out $173. Um, but the bad thing is, once I caught him, now everything's locked, so I can't actually go back in here. Oh man, this really sucks. I really wanted, I really, really wanted to check this out. Like, I was just... Oh, hang on, it's just closed because it's night time. Alright, I'll just wait here. I thought it was closed because I um, I tackled that guy down and I had some sort of like um, bounty or something like that. Although nothing really came up so I don't know why I thought that. <laughs> I think it's happened to me before. Okay, here we go. So it's unlocked. I, I really want to know if we can get some more guns. Um, okay, now let me see. Yeah, that sort of stuff really excites me. <laughs> okay, I'm going to go from the start. Um, ooh. Now that would be nice. Okay, so we've seen these before. Ooh, what? That's a good solid pistol right there. That looks really, really good. Um, very high fire rate, very quick reload, very good accuracy. Not very good on the damage and range. I don't think that's really something that I want. I think... Oh, but it looks... It looks very good. Oh, hey, hang, hang on. What's... So, I think we've got this. I'm not going to bother with that. But this looks really nice. It looks very well balanced. Good damage, good range. Okay, fire rate. Reloads, okay, you accuracy. You know, I might just swap it out. I might just swap this out with my... Um, Revolver. Oof. That's a fine firearm. It actually looks like a two shot. Did you know a rifle barrel adds noticeable accuracy? We can do that to this model for a great price. So that I might could add some rifling into the barrel if you want. Makes it much more accurate. <sighs> Oof. Would you be interested in me changing some of the parts at all? Well, you don't mess around. So I really want to um, just upgrade. Uh, just really sort of upgrade everything I can that will make my stats a little bit better. Um, ammo. Okay, this is where it gets really serious. So I'm more of a damage type guy. I really like these express bullets. Velocity is great too. Um, but yeah, anything beats regular in my opinion. So I'm going to go ahead and buy quite a number of these. I'll just buy a couple of regulars. Like nice. Okay, what else we got? 
So, some of these repeaters, Lichfield. That actually has really good damage compared to the Lancaster. I've noticed that my one doesn't actually get me, um... It doesn't get me very good I would definitely recommend that damage. If you're looking for a repeater. Varmint I'm not going to bother with just yet. So all these I've got owned. That's something I really want to get. Pump action. Ooh, semi-auto. Actually, I think I know a place where I can get this. I might do that off camera, so I'm not going to bother with a shotgun. That's a reason. I'm quite happy with that. Okay. Oh shit! I um, keep forgetting how fast my horse is. So um, I don't know if I might be cutting some of that out. I uh, hope it's really not too boring for you guys. Um, maybe I should probably start doing some of that stuff off camera. There's some blind guy here. Hang on. I don't know where he is. Hmm. Okay, I might just hitch my horse. Okay, so this is the sort of setup I want. Express. Express. So you can see the areas that are grey on my uh, my damage and range reload. I don't know how to make that go max. Hmm. Okay, so here we go. Oh, sh Stick em up, cowboy. Shit. <laughs> yeah, real funny, Dutch. Oh, I thought so. So, here we are in a strange land of papists and rapists. America's very own Gamora. This city's all of the same to me. So, how you get on? I've been asking around about Mr. Bronte. From what I've heard, this establishment is our best lead, but I haven't had any joy in there so far. So, I should just give it a shot? I think so. Just keep it cool. You know me? I'll meet you back here or not. Oh shit. Why is everyone looking at me like that? Funny you should say that. Well, you know how it is. I told them, I say, that's the state of Lamorn for you. America's hey, can I get a drink here? French secret. <laughs> that's why we love it. Born and raised. Mm. Well, over I'll get here. you in a second. Now, all right. all what do you, what do, you do to get service over here? I'm sorry. Please excuse me. I, I, I seem to have some very impatient customers. Now, how can I help? You look like a whiskey man. <laughs> I'll take it. Sure. Sure. Dollar, please. For a whiskey? Oh, that's the real stuff. From Scott. Okay. Here, have one for yourself. Well, thank you. So, mister, can I ask you a question? You ever hear of a fella by the name of Bronte? <laughs> Who's asking? Me. I'm asking. No, leave it, Fred. What do you mean, leave it? Look, I don't know what business you're in, but leave it, Fred. You and your pal that was in here before. Bronte? Angelo Bronte? Mr. Big, Mr. Italian, spaghetti eating, long streak of piss big. And he makes my skin crawl. I'm so squally a cocksucker. You know what I mean, friend? Where can I find him? Oh, well, I reckon you talk to them kids in the alley, they'll know I guess. Alright, kids in the oh, alley. Hey, friend? 
you will be careful now. Immigrants, they're not to be trusted. Uh, it goes to show some of the uh, racist culture there back in the days. Still is quite present, it's quite sad actually. Come on now, this sulking doesn't become you. You always have to be right, don't you? I'm just giving you the correct use of the word. If you feel. Pardon me, but have you seen any kids around this way? Yeah, I think I heard a few in the other courtyard up ahead. You can get through on the left there. Okay, looks like we narrowed it down. There they are. Hey! Hey, you got a cigarette, mister? Maybe. Huh? I'm looking for a fellow named Angelo Bronte. I tell you. I know him. Everyone knows him. Where is he? We'll take you to him. What it'll cost. I reckon I can pay. Five dollars. Where does he live? New York? I'm an entrepreneur. If you don't want to pay, <laughs> then I don't want to walk. Here, come on. This away. Let's go, Mister. You coming, Cleet? Stay close. Easy to get lost around here. Come on, then. You new to the city, Mister? Pretty much. Don't worry. No one knows it as good as me and Cleet. Is that right? Hope you won't need his services, but you got the doctor on the corner there. Nice enough, fella. That's Baron and Schreiber on the right there. Famous bookstore. Not that I'm much of a reader myself. Now over here's a real piece of art. That's the Church of the Holy Blessed Virgin, mister. Modeled on the famous church in Toulouse, which is in France. You been to Toulouse, mister? No. We're Catholics here, mister. Ain't Baptist or nothing. My mama said they used to burn Protestants and all, but uh... Bet they don't have nothing so fine where you come from, mister. Look at them fine steeples. Oh shit. Hey, you little pair of shit. Get going. He's coming after us. Shit. These kids look shady, man. Come on, hold time. Are you serious? Where's my horse? I think I got my horsey somewhere. I don't know if my horse was supposed to be placed there or not, but I remember I actually put it there before I started the mission. Man, that tram is certainly faster than an Arabian horse. Shit, man, where do you go? Good morning. You know, I kind of miss old Bob Tails. I don't. Hey, you see a kid about 14 years old? We'll run through here. Why, yes, we did. He went around the corner there. That's enough. Come here. Boom! Shit, I'm losing him. There he is. You can see him on the map. Uh, it just looks like he's gone through that alleyway there. I'm sort of concerned about my stamina. Oh shit. Ooh, what a kick. I'm being chased by the village idiot. Stop shit. I don't know if I can hog time at this don't stage. You, have pigs to feed? you give that back. Shit. Oh shit. Just got ran over by a tram. I just can't get closer to him. I feel like. Morning, Mister. Watch yourself. I'm sorry, there. Well, I'm glad you amused yourself so much. I'm telling you, a cucumber is definitely a fruit. Since when? Since forever. I already knew. Fellas. You seen a kid come through here? About 14, 15? Oh yeah, he ran right to us. Ran around the corner there. Hmm. 
Oh, there he is. Oh, shit. What a trickster. So I don't think the actual game is letting me get closer to him just yet. Ah, uh, here we go. problem, friend? Give me my thanks, boy. What are you talking about, friend? I ain't your friend, but that kid is, and he robbed from me. Now give me back my stuff and take me to Angelo Bronte. Senor Bronte. That kid was gonna show me before he robbed me. Now, come on. You new in town, mister? Come on. Mr. Bronte's got a lot of friends, mister, but I ain't never seen you. We ain't friends. <laughs> you don't like no one, mister. Mr. Bronte, he's got fine hair. He got a beautiful house, and I am proud to work for him. He got 50 men, mister. Why are you gonna care a thing about you? I just want to speak with him. <laughs> I'm sure you do, mister. You and them friends of yours been asking about him all over town. He been mighty disrespected. Bunch of muddy Yankees in town asking questions. <laughs> well, you and your friends should pay him a visit, mister. He's got a big house on Flavian Street opposite the park. Hey, yokel. Now, get out of here. That was kind of weird. I feel like that was him. Um, Alright, so what's this? Is this where I can get like... Uh, there's more provisions I think. Hang on. Oh shit. What I'm after is um, hair tonic. There we go. Food and sundries to the sides and the booze is up by the counter. You want the full range? Just have Sold a look out. through the catalog. <laughs> now, let me have a look. Enjoy it. Um, okay, so... Hang on. Sure, keep looking. So I need, um... Some food. Stuff to eat. Canned food. Canned and dried, I think that's the way to go. Uh, so something that's going to be really, really good for baked beans. I'll you take plenty of that. Kidney beans. Good protein. Pineapples. Micronutrients. Uh, salmon. Yeah, sure. I'll take it. Not much of a um, I'm not a salmon person, but... <laughs> Appreciate it. Um, pears. Good for the horse. Uh, bread roll. No. Ground coffee. Ah, it's sold out. Oat cakes. You can never go wrong with oat cakes. Cigars. That keeps my dead eye up. Brandy will keep my dead eye up. Bourbon. <laughs> I'm like an alco right now. Alright, that's it. I'm done. That was actually really, really convenient. I needed all that stuff anyway. Okay, so, just while I'm here, I'm going to go into my kit, hair tonic. Uh, I'm going to smash two of those just so my hair grows really quick. I'm trying to like grow my beard out. I want to see if I can get my beard down to my feet. Yeah, it looks like it's growing. <laughs> uh, so I think there's my horse. I might just take my horse over to um, Angelo. I like the way. I don't know if Americans still say it the way they say it, but like here in Australia, we just say Italians. We don't say Italians. I don't know if that was a thing of the past or if Americans still say that now, but I kind of find it funny. <laughs> Italians. Oh, almost got hit. Right, I might just hitch my horse up here. 
I can hear Dutch. Where is he? Oh, there he is sitting down. It's a bit of a weird look, him in a city. Where you been? Getting robbed? Who by? Bunch of children. Oh. <laughs> I won't inquire anymore. But I found Mr. Bronte. Seems to be some Italian Mr. Big in town. Everybody knows him, but nobody wants to talk about him. Apparently lives in a big house on Flavian Street, opposite the park. Huh. Good work. So what now? We go pay him a visit. I'll get John, you meet us there. Whatever it takes, we need to get that boy back. Hmm. I really don't like my hat. I want to sort of have it shot off or something. <laughs> I can't I seem to take it off. Which I like less. The swamps or the city. Both are full of parasites, reptiles, and slime. We're a long way east of land we know, and far from real open country. Okay, so... I'm in big open country. As in like, I'm in a big open area, but... I don't know where I'm going, so I want to I want to do more of this, um, more of the main quests, like there's two, yep. two quests on the side there, I'm not too interested about those just yet, I might come back to them off camera, but yeah, for now I'm going to go to Dutch, I really want to tra track down uh, Angelo. Guys, I would really love to get your feedback on the game so far. Really the series so far, like, because I think this is going to be my biggest series on the channel so far, and um, it's definitely the slowest I've been uploading as well. Like, I've still been trying to keep up to, like, my daily uploads, but yeah, it's still, still going to be a long one. Oh, what the hell? Let's see if we can offer any assistance. I want to try and get my honor up. I've been covered in worse, friend. Just had to be me. Okay, it doesn't really seem like we can do much for him. Oh, shit. What the hell happened to my horse? This horse is so temperamental, man. Extremely temperamental. I'll just give it something to eat. Okay, here we go. Yeah, I don't know if it's um just like this is the breed of the horse or something, or is it like the first horse that we got, like it was never that temperamental. But yeah, this horse is like, I don't know, it's just... She's really something. Okay. Here we go. Oh, what the hell is sitting with some kid? Oh, I didn't know that's um John. There you are. You boys ready? Of course. What else do you know about this guy? Not much. Just see some slick little greasy-haired European who's clearly got power and money. Now listen. If we go in there and start shooting up the place. Boy's gonna get shot, that I guarantee. Better like this, you're gonna have a lot of protection. Hey, no one's gonna get shot, Arthur, so everyone just relax. We'll charm them. Trust me. Is this the place? <coughs> Must be. You okay, John? I guess. Excuse me, sir. We have an appointment to see Mr. Bronte. Who are you? Oh, shit. You get your boss down here and now so we can talk about this like gentlemen. Run along now, boy. The 
Was that the special Dutch charm I heard so much about? Relax. I got this. Shit. I like how he's just got his hands down low. <laughs> it's like he's about to hug him or something. Come here. <laughs> Why do you take his son? Excuse me. I said, why did you take his son? We ain't got no problems with you, sir. Nor you with us. But if you want to start one, there's going to be a lot of folks dead in this room before it's done. So, you walk into my city, stinking of shit and looking like this, and you come into my house before you have a bath and you tell me how to act? You ask me to show compassion. Have I not shown you almost infinite compassion already by simply allowing you to breathe in my presence? All right. Indeed you have. Now, we are simple country folk. All we have is each other. And you have gone and you have took his son over some dispute with some inbred ex-slavers. It ain't got nothing to do with any one of us. You had nothing to do with destroying the liquor business. We was innocent bystanders. And that which we weren't innocent of, well, we, we most surely were ignorant of. You twist words, you lie shamelessly. You think you are better than everyone else. Teodoro. <laughs> that is a very stiff woman here. Angelo Bronte. <laughs> Dutch Vanderlyn. Uh, Arthur Morgan. Arthur. Uh, the pleasure is mine. John Marsh. <laughs> All mine, please. <laughs> this is so weird right now. <laughs> What's going on? Look at the way Arthur's sitting. <laughs> so, uh... Can my friend have his son? Of course, of course. <laughs> but uh, should I be out of pocket over a misunderstanding? Of course I know you would not want that, huh? No. No, no, no. So how about this? You perform a simple job for me, and you get your son back. What is it? A couple of people have taken to grave robbing in this cemetery. Oh, that is a fine place for it, the best. <laughs> I love this guy. I love you. <laughs> <laughs> See, they've taken not only to desecrating the dead, but they've done so without paying a tribute to the living. Thing is, they see my men, of course, they run a mile. So maybe you two head off, huh? And you, Mr. Van der Linde, well, you tell me more about my manners. <laughs> Salute. Salute. Oof. How's that for an intro? So guys, I'm gonna wrap it up there. I hope you guys really enjoyed that. Um, and that intro to Angelo as well. I wasn't expecting that. I thought it was that little kid or something. But I'd love to get your feedback on this series so far. So please let me know how I'm going. Any support you guys show uh, really helps me out. Smash the like button, subscribe if you haven't already, and I hope to see you guys in the next one. Take care. Bye.